हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेक्चर 67 इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट मेथड्स टू चेक लैंड डिग्रेडेशन द क्वेश्चन वी डिस्कस्ड इन अर्लियर लेक्चर सो इन दिस वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट मेथड्स ऑफ चेकिंग लैंड डिग्रेडेशन then different uh, type of soils found in india soil erosion and methods to check soil erosion these are some more important question based on uh, geography chapter 1 that is resources development so let us begin the first question is suggest some of the methods to check land degradation so these are the methods the number 1 point number 1 afforestation afforestation means planting of trees in large number and proper management of grazing lands can help to some extent in controlling land degradation second factor is planting of shelter belt of trees that also control on uh, sand dunes stabilizing the sand dunes by growing thorny bushes and other crop area in semi arid of regions third one is proper management of wasteland controlling mining activities pitting the scars after mining work is done proper discharge and disposal of industrial waste after treatment can reduce land and water degradation in industrial and cities and town areas where industries are more in number so these are some of the methods to check land degradation <clears throat> next question is give a brief account of different type of soils found in india different type of soils found in india basically in india there are six types of soil found in india there are six type of soils found the first one is alluvial soil alluvial soil is deposited by three important river systems that is indus ganga and brahmaputra these soils also extend in rajasthan and gujarat in the form of narrow belts these soil contain sand silt and clay matter and adequate proportion of potash phosphoric acid and lime due to which this soil becomes most fertile and this soil <coughs> is suitably um, uh, suitable for cultivation of wheat and other cereal crops in the piedmont zones uh, of the mountain areas these soils <coughs> are also called duars chos and tarai and on the basis of their age alluvial soils are called khadar and bangar khadar is young alluvial soil and bangar is a old alluvial soil second type of soil is black soil black soil is also called black cotton or rigor soil this soil is suitably um, adequately suitable for cultivation of cotton crops this type of soil is uh, typically found in deccan trap that is basalt regions spread over north west deccan parts of the plateau as a lava flows magma flows the um, uh, volcanic eruption this soil is mainly found in maharashtra malwa madhya pradesh karnataka and in the um, narrow belts of godavari and krishna uh, river valley This soil is made up of finely clay material and rich in calcium carbonates magnesium potash and lime The third category of soil is red and yellow soil 
Red and yellow soil develops on crystalline igneous rocks in the areas of low rainfall in eastern and southern parts of Deccan Plateau. Red and yellow soils are found in parts of Odisha, Chhattisgarh, southern parts of Middle Ganga Plains and along western Ghats. These soils develop reddish color due to diffusion of iron. It is important for MCQs and it appears yellow in its hydrated form means when it is wet and uh, uh, it is also formed uh, in the metamorphic rocks in crystal form in crystal form red and yellow soil is adequately suitable for rubber cashew nut crops etc next is uh, laterite soil the word later means brick later means brick so the laterite soil develops under tropical and subtropical climate with alternate wet and dry season the soil results in uh, in a, uh, intense leaching leaching means washing due to heavy rains and is very deep and acidic in nature this soil is found in southern states western ghats maharashtra odisha some parts of west bengal and northern areas in tamil nadu kerala karnataka this soil is good for cultivation of tea and coffee next uh, fifth number is arid soil or called desert soil arid soil range from red to brown in color it is generally sandy in texture and saline in nature in some areas salt content is very high that that's why salt is obtained that is sambar lake in rajasthan these soils lack they means these soils do not contain uh, adequate humus fertile content and moisture but after proper irrigation these soils become fit for cultivation especially in western rajasthan and bajra is grown suitably in these soils and sixth type of soil is forest soil these soils are found in hilly and mountainous areas where sufficient rain forests are available the soil texture varies accordingly uh, according to the mountain environment where they are formed on the top hills the humus content is less in down slope humus content is more these soils are loamy silty in valley side coarse rough again in the upper slopes in the snow covered areas of the himalayas these soils experience denudation no vegetation cover and they are acidic with low humus content these are the types of soil found in india uh from this chapter one sometimes one question is asked on the map also for identification of soils and last question of this chapter is what is soil erosion what are different types of soil erosion and also suggest some methods to check soil erosion soil erosion uh washing away washing away the top soil cover due to water wind or by any other mechanism is called soil erosion soil erosion are basically of two types number 1 is gully erosion and second is sheet erosion gully erosion is caused due to running rain water when rain water runs over a loose soil it cuts deep channels deep and narrow channels which form gully and these are found in the chambal basin uh, near jhansi gwalior area etc second is sheet erosion sheet erosion is also caused due to rain water when rain water flows over as a large area as a sheet and washes away uh, removes the top soil cover it becomes the sheet erosion now some methods to check soil erosion that is the number one plowing along the contour along the contour means on on the hill slopes farmers must plow across the slopes not along the slopes across the slope that is called contour plowing then terrace farming commonly known as terrace cultivation in the hills 
in the hill slopes terraces are cut and farmers grow crops on these small terraces then the next method is strip cropping next method is strip cropping in strip cropping the large farm lands are converted into strips and these strips are grown with grass and crop intermittently one strip of grass then crop then grass then crop and so on so grass being deep rooted and strong network helps in conserving the soil and protecting uh, crop plant as well then the next method is in the, that is in the desert areas planting of thorny bushes and shelter belts these help in stabilizing the sand dunes means control, uh, they they control the sand because in uh, uh, arid soil sand is extremely loose and when wind blows faster so these sands keep on moving these, these thorny bushes and uh, shelter belts help to reduce the movement of soil this is how the soil erosion can be checked in different areas so that's all for this video and question answers and that is all uh, as far as concerned my point of view uh, that is important question based on geography chapter 1 resources development so thank you very much keep on watching keep reading and keep listening